I don't always feel powerful, you know, and I think that sometimes women have to show an enormous amount of strength to be perceived as unbreakable and that we can walk toe to toe with any man or anyone around the world but women are physiologically different it's hard i'm vulnerable sometimes i'm moody sometimes and it's hard for me but there's no way i'll let anyone see that when i walk onto a set and i think that's what makes me powerful what makes me powerful is being able to emotionally check myself you know use my vulnerabilities as my strengths because i think that's the power of femininity Philanthropy by nature comes very natural to my family. They were people who always inculcated in me and my brother the value of the fact that we were privileged. And wherever you are in life, there will always be someone on this earth who will be worse off than you. And I just love the kind of work that UNICEF does to actually move mountains and move the needle for kids across the world that might be dealing with poverty, war, displacement. My favorite part is looking at all of these kids who get so excited just meeting someone who wants to spend time with them and ask them what their aspirations are and their dreams. We're like the means to the end. The end is giving a prosperous future to every child in this world or as many as we can. I've seen a lot of success stories of kids that started out under circumstances where you would never think that there would be a success story and then they end up achieving their dreams because of a helping hand that they might have got and a drive and an ambition and it's amazing to see that. If I wasn't an actor, the plan was to be an engineer. I don't know what I would have been, but I wanted to be an aeronautical engineer. I wanted to build planes. Yeah, I wanted to be at NASA. And I don't know how far that would have, whether that would have happened or not, but it would have been cool. I don't end up watching too many movies, but I, I saw this beautiful movie called um, Gifted. I was so amazed by the performances in and the idea of, of just the movie. Dunkirk, another amazing movie that I loved this year. I still have a lot of movie catching up to do. I love Redbone right now. I've been listening to that song a lot. It's, um, I don't know, it's just, it's when, it, when he says awake and alive, it's just, it's amazing. That's a song, every time that it comes on on the radio, I'm just like, oh, that's my jam, that's my jam. I would love to be Batman. Oh, he has the best toys. And Iron Man. Catwoman's pretty hot too. I would love Catwoman. I think Alex and me have sort of blurred now. <laughs> the lines have sort of blurred. We've become, a, we've become similar people. She's a lot more broken than me, you know. She's a little bit detached. She can function on her own. She can survive on her own. She doesn't need anyone. She doesn't want anyone. Well, I'm the opposite. I'm like, I want everyone around me. <laughs> I want everyone that I love. Um, I need my family. I love having friends in the house. I always like people. So we're very different that way, but we are very similar in like a little bit unapologetic, you know, courage of conviction. I think that's very similar between Alex Parrish and me, that whatever I do, I, I'm not afraid to admit it, whether it's, the, it's right or wrong. That's just integrity. I was watching The Crown, which I loved, Handmaid's Tale, which I loved. It was so amazing. I'm so excited that they won at the Emmys this year. I still haven't watched the latest season of Narcos and Game of Thrones. People are going to kill me for that. But there are so many shows that I do want to keep watching. This Is Us. I haven't finished that yet. I just started. I really admire Dwayne Johnson and uh, how much of an entrepreneur he is. and you know, um, how he's been able to switch careers so well and, you know, and be such a nice guy. Um, I really admire Audrey Hepburn 
especially someone who's had a phenomenal career on camera and off. Whether it was a philanthropy, whether it was her career, whether it was her personal life, she just sort of always, you know, had it together and with a smile. So uh, yeah, those are two people I definitely admire a lot. <laughs>